hope this all works all right, Janet. Oh, Grace. Don't count your baskets before the chicken is in the bush. <laughs> point of order, Mr. President. Am I the only member here with the guts to point out that this so-called translating computer is talking absolute bollocks? <laughs> so far this morning, we have heard a request that Commissioner Madame Dupont make a clean breast of her water management policies as a demand that she wash her tits in public. <laughs> Crepe Suzette's was rendered as Susan's plimsolls, and no doubt Polyglot would turn Deutschland uber Alles into Alice has been run over by a Volkswagen. <laughs> but hold on, hold on. Is Alan Bastard, the scourge of the trades unions, suggesting we give in to these striking translators? Of course not. Not a bit of it. For there is a better, a more daring solution. A solution that offers a beacon for the next century, pointing the way to a truly united Europe. For, ladies and gentlemen, we will only be a truly united Europe when we all speak the same language. The world language. The language of, of commerce, of, of, of rock and roll, of Shakespeare. Why, of God himself. I mean, of course, English. Yes, English. So let us seize this opportunity to focus all of our energies and all of our finances into making English the sole compulsory language of Europe by the end of the millennium. No, sod it. By next Wednesday afternoon at the very latest. <laughs> Ghastly wops, I'm not